Okay, by the way, on that last house on um, 110th, that was a little over 2,400 square feet. I think I forgot to mention that. Um, okay, so we're at 11101 Bluff Creek Drive. It's a three bed, two bath. It's 1683 square feet. So this is going to be quite a bit smaller, built in 1983, but it's got a huge in the back. So Bluff Creek Drive here is like a main road leading into the neighborhood. So literally, that's what you're going to get coming through here are people just coming home basically so let's see it doesn't show the age of the roof right off the bat but once again if it hasn't been updated if it hasn't been done recently there's a chance that it may be the windows are original they've already got some really nice flower cute, cute, cute flowers I can tell by the look of that outdoor condenser that that's been updated. They've also updated their eaves here, which is nice. I don't see any movement. This one's missing a little bit of a panel here. And I could tell down here they've got some French drains, which is nice. So water probably puddles here and they, they put French drains in. And since we're out here, I'm gonna walk around this other side. Where's your golf stuff? You're usually outside golfing. I usually see you out here putting. Yeah. So we got well, no, I don't see anything unusual there. And a lot of times these sidewalks are sort of curved in. Mine is. Um, and I think your brother's was too, but this one's actually pretty solid in the end. Now this one's going to need a lot of work. Um, and they want to sell it as is. And what that means is it's as is. They don't want to do any little piddly repairs. They're saying they don't want to do any repairs. But either way, just be aware that they want to sell it as is. If it's something big like a roof, you're kind of in, they're kind of in a position they have to fix that. Things like piers or, you know, even if there's like at your brother's house, the, in the duct system, it had collapsed. So I would definitely likely get a scope it doesn't hurt anything um this is the living room but i want you to know something this is just stick down flooring and i'm going to be quiet here in a minute so that you can hear me walking through some areas you hear that crackling sound that's just the glue <laughs> So that's kind of an ex a pretty big expense to put floors in here. It's going to be pretty expensive. Well, I'm not going to all the way open that, but those are fake, not fake wood. Again, you hear that? Got your dining space here. It's got a little tray ceiling at the, at the top. Paneling. So it needs paint. That leads to the exterior. Got a little bar here. This is just for mica countertops. The woodworks, you know. Literally, it hasn't been updated much. Like I said, that, that crackling would make me crazy. This right here at my house, you know, the people that bought it or the people before us took all that out and lifted it up and put that recessed lighting. It's only got one stove here, or the other one have a double. Let's see if it's vented. Nope, that's not vented out either. So, laundry room is very similar to the last house. Okay, so you've got storage here. That's probably just your pantry. And then, again, that's probably where I'd put all my stuff too. 
I did open the garage door a little bit to get some light in here because the light didn't come on. But this steps down. Water heater. Water heater is, um, sorry, that's my watch. Um, 2019 on the hot, on the hot water tank. They do have a storm shelter, it looks like, over there. Oh, that's just a storage closet. Okay, I, thought, I was expecting to see a furnace. So they may have already flipped the furnace up to the, up in there. They would have to have done that. But again, they do have a storm shelter right here, which is nice. Both houses, okay. And then they have a sprinkler system as well, which is nice. hit the bedrooms before we go outside. So you got the bathroom here. Those are not terrible countertops. Oh no, I think they went over the countertops with something. But the wallpaper is just, you know, wallpaper and then there's carpet so some people wouldn't like that. Okay, so Somebody who maybe was handicapped was here or needed a little extra help. But the bathtub looks like it's in good shape. Again, the carpet is kind of, I mean, it's just a brown, brown carpet. Plenty of room in here for a full size bed, I'd say. Queen size, you could do a queen size, but you know, you'll have to paint because they've got, you know, stuff going on there. So be ready for that. And then the closets. All the closets are gonna look like this, by the way. So I'll open this one except for in the master. Um... Oh, you know what? The furnace might be in here. We'll see. So they all got some storage there. Okay, sorry, furnace is in here. It's a 2009. Okay, good deal. Carrier. Huh. Pretty large bedroom. Easily fit a king size in here. And again, the closet's going to look just like the other closet, so I'm not going to look in there. And like I said, the carpet is just kind of a brown. It looks lighter in my camera than it does in this house, by the way. It's way darker than what my... So you might end up having to replace uh, the carpet just because it's kind of dingy. This should be the master bedroom. So you got the two windows there. His closet here, which will look like the other one. Mm -hmm. And then bathroom looks very similar to the other house is Jack and Jill bathroom, where you've got a separate shower area. Wait, where's the light? Um, am I crazy? Where's the light? Oh, light's behind the door. Okay. It's kind of nice that you have a little extra space there next to the toilet. It's kind of wasted space in my mind, but I could find some stuff to put there. Yep. Yeah. All right. I mean, that's that's pretty. That's original. I mean, I'd be replacing those too. I'd be updating them. In general, I would just do some updates here. But again, the price point on this is two twenty-five. So I mean, you know. How much money will you spend between painting, flooring, and whatever? And then you have to consider the, you have to consider the size too. So if by the time you've updated the flooring, which may run you twenty-five thousand, who knows? And maybe some painting. And if you want, if your wife wanted any of this updated, I mean, you've probably got thirty or thirty-five thousand dollars in updates. 
but your house is a lot smaller than that other one. Now, this is the showstopper. <laughs> I love, love, love how big this backyard is. Huge. Like, nobody has a, <laughs> nobody has this. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This is huge. But nonetheless, there's the patio. That goes so far back there, it's crazy. Literally crazy. And actually, yeah. So it's now on this side of the street, it's like that. On Bluff Creek Drive, I feel like in order to get those. What they did is they made these backyards on the busy roads, it seems like, so large. I, I mean, you've got so much space to do whatever out here. So this is the big selling point, if you ask me. You know what? Let me go look in that shed for you. Now, the shed is kind of rough now, just so you know. But it's a shed. I mean, who cares in my mind? I mean, you can have it scraped and painted. So, oh, and that door fell when I went to open it just now. <laughs> 